Greetings Silver Ball Jockeys, Atari Leaf here with a video review of a fairly rare pinball game for the Atari 2600 called Bumper Bash. It was released by a company called Spectre Video just before the video game crash in 1984, and it seemed to have been sold predominantly in Canada. These factors would partially account for its rarity. Bumper Bash uses a unique control scheme that utilizes the Atari's paddle controllers instead of the usual joystick method. But it's simple to use and works quite well. You can move the plunger up and down using either the left or right paddle buttons. When the plunger is at a height you're happy with, hit both buttons simultaneously to launch the ball. Then it's simply a matter of using the left and right paddle buttons to control the left and right flippers. The one downside with using this type of control scheme is that there's no option for nudging the ball if you need to. You start the game with five balls, and as with all pinball games, there are a variety of bumpers, rollover buttons, drop targets, and spinners to try to hit to help you achieve the highest score possible. And Bumper Bash certainly has a good amount of targets to play with. As with any pinball game, physics are very important and in Bumper Bash, the physics can be described as spotty. Sometimes the ball will behave as it should, other times it behaves as if it's covered in glue and wants to stick to different objects on the screen, especially your flippers, instead of bouncing off as it should. Other times it will bounce around in completely unpredictable patterns that will leave you scratching your head. The other problem is that there is a spinner poorly placed right over the hole and an ill-timed shot will leave you helpless as the ball passes straight down the middle between your stubby flippers. Graphically, this is a very appealing looking pinball for the Atari 2600, and certainly a step up from Atari's video pinball, but not as good as Midnight Magic. In fact, Midnight Magic has Bumper Bash beat in just about every aspect of the pinball game. This is not to say Bumper Bash is a poor game, far from it, but it can't quite compete with the excellent Midnight Magic, a game I, and many others, think to be the best pinball game on the 2600. Now if you've watched my other videos, you might be confused since I've mentioned that the original video pinball is my favorite 2600 pinball game. That's true. It's my favorite for nostalgia value and the fun I still have playing it as a big kid today. So Video Pinball is my favorite, but Midnight Magic is the best, if that makes any sense. Bumper Bash falls in between for me. It's a fun pinball game, but it doesn't have the simple fun of Video Pinball, where nudging the ball is the name of the game, and something Bumper Bash is sorely lacking. And it falls short of its other pinball competitor, Midnight Magic, which wins hands down for 2600 Pinball. Spectra Video made a worthy attempt, and had they not released the game so close to the video game crash, this game may have gotten some attention from 2600 owners, as it is a decent pinball game. As it stands, Bumper Bash is a good pinball game, but not great. If you find it in a thrift store though, grab it, as it is a rare game and a great addition to your collection. This is Atari Leaf, thanks for watching and have a great day.